Welcome to the Design Knit 9 video learning series. In this video today, we'll be looking in the Design Knit 9 graphics studio section of the program. Let's go there now, and we'll be looking at a new feature in Design Knit 9 that gives you the ability to set where you want your default folders to be. And this gives you the ability to set where you want to open and save your files in the graphics studio. Separately, you can set this as a default folder in Stitch Designer, and separately, you can set a default folder for your shapes. So you have a lot of options here, which is very nice. And you set this by saying File, Default Folder, and when you first install Design in it 9, the default is your pictures library on your computer. And this is kind of the most obvious place to put it because when you save things from your camera or from your phone or scans, a lot of software defaults to this pictures directory. And so this is gonna be an easy place for you to find it. Now, when you say open a file, it's looking right in that pictures directory and you can look for pictures that you have and open them. You can also say file default folder and you can change this. And I like the documents directory because Design in it 9 installs a folder in this directory called Design in it 9, and it installs subfolders called Shapes and Stitch Patterns. And I have added a couple additional folders to this section. So if I click here as my default folder, OK. Now when I say open my graphic file, it's not going to look in my pictures directory anymore. It's going to look in my graphics file directory that's under Documents Design Knit 9 Graphic Files. And of course, I could always switch to whatever I want. And I could walk all over the computer and find what I want. Let's cancel out of this one more time. Another thing that you can do is, as you can say, file default folder. So right now I have this unchecked. This means when I open or when I save, it's automatically going to recommend this place first, unless you go in and physically change it to a different folder. And this is nice. Uh, if I was doing a lot of projects, I might say choose to have it as temporary graphic files and I would put my files in there and then I would save it. If you check off this, continue to use the same folder from the previous open or save. Let's check that off. And I'm going to open a graphic file from the graphic file as my default folder now, but I'm going to want to save there. And I'm going to open it. And let's open this one. And I'm going to say file, save this graphic as, and it gives me the ability to save it somewhere else. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to go up to the design in it nine. And I'm going to move to this directory. And I've made a couple subdirectories here, flowers and magazine charts. I can make a new one. And let's call this one dinosaurs. and open that and now you could see this is the one we're going to save to and this is the file name and i can change this if i want and i can also save it in a lot of different graphic formats and i'm going to say save now when i say let's close this graphic and i don't need to save this when I say open the graphic file, because I had that checked off, 
now it's looking automatically where I just last saved a file, which was this dinosaurs folder. And so this is really convenient because you can open a file that you're looking for, say in your pictures directory from a camera, and you can go to your default folder and you can say, I want this one to be my graphic files and check this off and it will save it there instead. If you are setting your default folder and you want to make another folder here under this temporary graphic files, you can't really do it in this section here. What you can do is cancel out of this for a minute without having to fuss around learning a lot of stuff on your computer. Open up a graphic file. Go back up to your temporary graphic files in progress. Make a new folder and we'll call this one uh, children. And cancel this. When I say the default folder, it doesn't have that yet, but you can cheat and you can close design in it entirely and you can reopen it immediately and go right back to Design in It Graphics Studio, File, Default Folder, and here's your temporary graphics folder, and there's your children that we just made. And you can specify that you want it to go there from now on. So you have a lot of options here. You can just say File, Open a Graphics File. You can open it. It remembers the last position that you just opened from. We're going to say we want to open up a, a magazine chart to be converted. And I'm going to save this graphic. I can just use it now and convert it. Or I can just say save this graphic as. And I can go and kind of walk around in my directories. And I'm going to save it here. And it says it already exists. I'm going to replace it. Okay. Now when I say open the file, because I had checked off that checkbox in the default folder setting, it's looking here under my magazine charts. So this is a fast way to organize yourself. File, default folder. You can always go back and say, default to the usual graphic folder by clicking here and it'll jump right back to pictures where you might have your camera or scanned photos and then you can continue using the same folder from the previous open or save if i go ahead and i say save this graphic that i opened in a temporary file let's just save it here and let's close this now when I go to open it, it's looking exactly where I was just one second ago. You can easily file default folder from your pictures, open it from the pictures, but uncheck this so that it goes to the pictures. Open a graphic file, it's in your pictures. Open a picture that you've saved, open. And we're going to convert this to a graphic stitch pattern. Save the graphic as. And I'm going to go to my documents. Design in it 9. Temporary graphic files. Let's save this in children. Double click there. And I could change the name if I want. Save. And now when I go to open it again, it's going to look there. And it gives you up here, Programs, Data, Documents, Design in it 9, Temporary Graphic Files, whoops, so that you always know, here's your children directory, and the name of the file, 602 pixels wide by 301 pixels high. So you have lots and lots of information, and this is a great new feature for Design in it. Thank you.